Do I know you?
Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. It's playoff time! I'm so excited. Season 4 is wrapping up tonight. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> oh Yo, God, what's up, Chef? Yeah, we're around. suited today. Oh we're suited God. today. You gotta suit up for the playoffs. You gotta look like uh, a shitty announcer from the 70s is, uh, is what I was going for. Um, what's up, Wolf? What's up, Cheb? You're in the right place. That's here. It's playoff time. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, we've got a variety of great matchups. Five games, four of which are for all the marbles, one of which is for next year's uh, first draft pick. Um, let's take a look at the board and see... What's in store? We've got in the Blunder Bowl leading things off today, the Handsome Devils. Oh, my Handsome Devils. Somehow the road team in the Blunder Bowl. Have we fallen so far? We miss Sparky quite a bit, don't we? <laughs> don't we? Hey, what's up, Axian? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League Playoffs. Can I get, a, can I get an exclamation point playoffs in the chat? Um... Hosting the Handsome Devils is the Polis crew in their third Blunder Bowl. They have made the postseason all four seasons, only one of which was actually in the uh... Uh, playoffs. Don't Thank talk you. about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? Uh, you can talk about the playoffs because they are today. Uh, thank you, Axian. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Wolf. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I actually wore this shirt and tie for the um, Season 2 playoffs, and then I decided to throw this jacket on with it. I got this jacket at Target. It does not even have real pockets. It is... Yo! What's up, Blue? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League <laughs> Playoffs! You're just in time. We're about to get started. I hope you're doing well. Um, no, I got this at Target. Not bad, not bad, but the pockets are not real. Neither is this one. There's not one inside. It's, uh, it is completely for looks. This is essentially a prop jacket, um, which works out fine for this. Um, it looks kind of neat. I don't know if that's showing up on actual stream, but in my preview, I look fucking neat. I look like fucking TV static. So I'm kind of digging that. That was not on purpose. Hopefully I'm not offending anybody's eyes <laughs> too badly. Um, oh, okay. Anyway. But yeah, that's our Blunder Bowl. Um, winner of that game gets the first pick in next season's draft. So the Devils could use it. The crew could use it. Um, surely. Uh... But let's get into the games that really, really matter for the championship. In our Contenders Cup, we've got the Jets making their playoff debut on the road in Firelink Shrine uh, against the Undead. The winner of that game moves on to Foreside to face the Starmen in the Bronze Bowl. Winner of that game plays the Bayou Billies down in the Bayou. They're making their playoff debut as well. First time in the playoffs for them. Winner of that silver showdown goes on to the Super Bowl to play, you guessed it, who else? The Goldens. Hosting the Super Bowl yet again for the third season in a row, but will they finally win it like they did back in season one? Um... You know they're going to try. You know they're going to try. Um, with that, the camera's a bit confused by it. That's a good way to put it. Um, with that said, playoff, or sorry, postseason, or sorry, uh, player awards are live. We've had our pre-vote on Discord, and now it's time for the live vote, which will uh, be open until the end of the Bronze Bowl, and then between the Bronze Bowl and Silver Showdown, all awards will be presented for all categories. Please make sure to follow all four links and vote in all four categories. I will be plugging that command after 
and before every game. Um, with that, let's get our first prediction started. This would be the one to win, considering they aren't undefeated this time. That's a good point. They'll probably pull it off, but we'll have to wait and see. Nothing is a given in the SGFL. You gotta get out there and earn, baby. Uh, let's fire up our blunder bowl. We got the handsome devils. What's up, Vectus? You're just in time for our first postseason matchup. Football, baby. Hell yeah. No, football. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You got 15 minutes to decide who will win. They'll take a little longer than that. Um, unless it's one-sided, I guess. But anyway. Start prediction. I take a sip of Wawa, and then we get underway. Any injuries that were experienced during the regular season that may have held over into the postseason are wiped away, as all postseason teams have had Zensu Beans. Uh, Zensu Beans make you feel good. They get you right when you need to get up and fight. With that said, let's... Get down to the field for our Blunder Bowl matchup. Oh, damn it. Get that off the screen. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's you didn't know that. That's uh, that's how it works. All the everybody, all postseason teams get a get a ration of Zensu beans to take care of their their injuries. Everybody, you know, you get to field your best if you make it to the playoffs. That's how it works. That's how it works. Handsome Devils at Polis Crew. It is the Blunder Bowl season four, and we are underway. Let me put this up here so I don't accidentally press this button. Um, I need to get save states for these games, too. Oh, my God. Don't forget the save states for the playoff games. Chris. Okay. The Devils will kick off to start things, and we are at action. Miracle returning the ball for the crew. Nailed at the 30-yard line. And we will see Nick Oteen come out onto the field looking to pass. Under pressure, looking for Sanders. It's knocked away. Colonel Sanders, who was a bright spot in the uh, receiving unit for the, for the crew this season, does not reel it in there. There's their uh, rookie of the season contender, Roy Gamo. Second year in a row that the crew have had a rookie of the season contender. Last season, they had the winner in Nick Oteen. This season, Roy Gamo is nominated. You can vote for him now. Follow the links above. That's exclamation point SGFL vote. The crew will fizzle out, and they'll have to punt it away. It's a lackluster punt that's returned to the 43, and we'll see what Claude and company can accomplish. Devil's D looked... Pretty good there, I do have to admit. We'll see if their offense can show up in the same fashion. Looking like a reverse to Axe off. He doesn't get much. It's a few. We'll set up a third and short. And Claude from the shotgun has options. Starts to get under or starts to get under pressure. Looking for Axe off deep. Has the catch in traffic! On the one, he is brought down. Oh my goodness, what a catch by Axion. Axion. Claude through the middle. No. Gonna wait. Gonna gonna stop. Gonna throw just before being sacked, but it's incomplete. I don't know why he didn't just... Put it in. Levitz will find the room on the right side, and the Devils draw first blood. Good for them. Making up for that total uh, malfunction. 
Claude had on the previous play. 7-0 ball game. Crew to receive. We'll see what happens. As Miracle takes it out of the end zone. Dodging one tackle and another. Breaking one and then maybe getting to the 17. I think they'll mark him at the 16, and they do. 16 and a half, you could call it, if you wanted to get technical. Miracle on the fake reverse. Oh, no, they fumble it. They fumble it right away. And they recover. It's Chuck. And they've got a first down. What? That's Chuck, who was eaten alive in a sewer in Walking Dead Season 1. Spoiler. He doesn't make it. Connor Curtis with the sack. Second and 20 coming up. From the 24, Oteen out of the shotgun, has options open, looking for Gamo out of, out of bounds, and flee way off target. Didn't like that at all. Former rookie of the season, looking a little uh, overseasoned there. As he puts a little too much on that pass. Looking for Sanders down the right side, he's got him. In stride, 20, to the 10. Tie it up. Pending this extra point. You know, don't want to get ahead of ourselves. But uh, the crew are on the board. A bomb to Colonel Sanders, and that was a good-looking ball. That'll take us to the end of the first quarter. The extra point is good by Mature Hour, and we are heading to the second quarter. Devils to receive. We're all tied up. Jay Eat from the 29. Getting it up to the 42. Devils starting with great field position. We'll see what they do with it. Levitz. Back to Claude. Axie. Oh, flea flicker. He's got it at the 2010. Touchdown, Devils. Just like they drew it up, folks. That is that is vintage Devils. That's a that's a play they just they 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 don't know how to get rid of it. They love to run it. They don't care who's running it. They've ran it with old uh, Sparklard to Lance, Sparklard to Versetti, Claude to Axiov. It's you know it's a generational move. Oh, it's an interception, Mile. Van Mile with the interception. Never a more base quarterback than Sparklard, but Claude, his protege, is looking for Axie off off the flea flicker again. Can't connect. Guess we got a Van Mile now. That's, uh, that's what the game is telling. Oh, they look for the flea flicker again. Dumping it short for Dart. Got it at the 19. Going to run it all the way in for another Devils touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my lands. And the extra point will make it 21 to 7. Devils trying to banish the crew to the Shadow Realm with some spectacular flea flicking. I, d <laughs> I guess I did. I guess I did. Oh my goodness, some miracle fighting for extra yards, getting around the right side. That'll be a first down for the crew and they are in Devil's territory, looking to close the gap before halftime. Oh, slap back down in his face. And then they rough him up for good measure. Here comes the blitz. He'll toss it to Sanders. Intercept it again. It's Snoop Lion. These guys don't get interceptions all season long, and then they're picking guys off in the Blunder Bowl. I mean, I guess if you're going to pick a game to do your best. <laughs> Might as well be the last one. Dart going around the left side, runs into traffic, and then backup comes along to tackle him down. Third and four coming up. 124 to go in the first half. Devils have a 14-point lead, and they're feeling good about it. Claude from the shotgun looking long. Looking for several rats. Got him in triple coverage. What? Several rats. How do you cover several rats? I mean, no matter what, even three guys are outnumbered. 
Levitz finding his way around the crowd, getting it down to the 20. They're knocking on the door, folks. They were just tanking the whole time. You can't prove that. Flea Flicker fakes him out. Guy's on the ground. <laughs> he faked himself out. Although it's better than the sack, so. Claude stepping up. Cannot connect with Axioff in the corner. And they will settle for a field goal to go up by 17. Looks good to me. And it is. 24 to 7. Funky Lips puts it through, and the Devils putting the moves on the crew here in the Blunder Bowl. Crew have appeared in the most Blunder Bowls. They've won the fewest. Who won the last one? I know the Defenders won one, the Billies won one. And the... Patriots! No wait, the Defenders didn't win, the Stars won. The Defenders lost their Blunder Bowl, that's right. Cause, cause the Stars drafted D-Horse. Devils get the ball to start the second half as well as a 17 point lead going into the locker room. That is uh, making things look pretty good for the road team here. Um, the crew need to get something going in a hurry. Levitz picks up a first down on the first play of the second half. And now we're looking for Axioff back across. Cutting to the right. He's out in front of everybody at the 30. They're in pursuit. Dragging him down just inside the 20-yard line. Axioff having a day. Oh, that's right. The Patriots won the last one. They drafted Ban Mile. Ban no, they drafted Ban Miles. Ban Mill. Touchdown, Claude! On the quarterback scramble. Oh my goodness, like he was making some eggs. That extra point doesn't look great, but it's good enough. 31 to seven, the devil's running away with it. At the very least, they're they're getting a, a you know, a, as terrible as this season was, it looks like they'll get a first round, they'll get the first pick of next draft. Who knows who that could be? <laughs> Only in the SGFL. All right, it was one of them. Hooligan can't reel it in. Oh, oh, he does throw a devil. He's feeling upset. And who can blame him? Toss to some miracle. They could use one of those. First down play, and they'll move the chains. Um. They get a first, you know, the Devils looking as terrible as their season was. They're looking to get a, a first first pick. Um, their schedule is going to be cake next season. So look out for the Devils in the playoffs next season. Because, you know, they could pull a Billies and just ride a, ride a soft schedule to a 7-1. and one. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll get you a silver showdown. No problem there, Bob. Mature Hour lining up for a long one. That looks good. Mature Hour having the season of his career. He's made more field goals this season than in his entire career combined, I'm pretty sure. Um, from 59, he also holds the record uh, for 67. So, you know, well within his range with that 59. And <laughs> well within his range. Dennis Parlov with the sack. Let's hear it for him. Notorious fan of the Billies. Gets a sack on the Devils here for the crew. Uh, only in the SGFL, baby. And off to Levitz. Trying to get something going. He can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down comes, and the Devils are actually punting it away. Uh, could this be the start of a comeback for the crew? My goodness. Fourth quarter. 
21 point deficit. Michael Bolton leading things off with a sack. This is the tale of Captain Sack Sparrow. Rolling out his OT, dodges Bolton. Gonna run with it. Still going. He got the first down up the midfield. How about that? Devils will play Crew and Pats next season, but they still do have Billies and Undead to deal with. That's true. That is true. They are in just a tough division in general, but, you know, it'll be easier, I guess. Hard to tell how good the Renegons are going to be. I think that depends on Barney. Oteen has the first down. Up to the 26. 3.42 to go. Uh, Y'all need to hurry. Uh-oh. Going backwards. It's Barnacles. He's a Mew. Like a like the Pokemon Mew. Oh, Gamo, Gamo, not really uh, done a whole lot today. Though judge him not based on today. Judge him based on his entire season. When evaluating for player awards. Fourth and thirty. They're going for it. Oh my God! They're running the ball on fourth and thirty with some miracle. And they're getting away with it! Touchdown! Fourth and 30? Forget about it! <laughs> I'm screaming like they just took the lead. Only the crew. With that, they pull within 14. There's still two and a half minutes. They'll kick the onside, and it is recovered by Levitz, who is now sprinting down the right sideline. He is caught up to at the 32, and the crew are going to need to force a turnover if they still want to try to get some kind of comeback going. We'll see. Levitz up the middle says, No, sir! Gust of wind dances on into the end zone, and that will probably do it. Banks at home, 38-17. Yeah, you got that right, Lucky. baby. Yo, Gus! What's up? Oh my god, there's so many sounds. <laughs> What's up, Yoga? Thanks for the dime. Welcome to SGFL Playoffs, baby! You're just in time. Our Blunder Bowl is about to wrap up, but we've got actual uh, uh, championship implication playoff games coming up just after this. And if you hit SGFL vote, you can vote in the SGFL player awards. Uh, I can't tab out of the game or I would do it myself. Should have put that on a timer. Ah, whatever. Next season, next season, whatever. Oteen looking to throw for a hooligan. Leaping grab just past the 50. Can they put a move on one? Oh, but not two. 32 seconds to go, and they're just looking to make it a little more respectable. Thank you, Axiom. Yes, everyone, if you uh, were not here earlier, vote in all four categories, please. SGFL Player Awards will be presented between the Bronze Bowl and Silver Showdown. The live vote will uh, conclude uh, uh, then. Yes, I, okay, I fucked up on Discord, and then I went back and tried to fix it. I did post all of the same links. They are, they are correct here. I did fix it, and some people went back and voted, but it was, it was, there was a bit of a snafu. And, uh, so MVP got most of the votes, but there were, yes. All of these do go to, uh, to different pages, though. I, 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 I made sure. I, I think. There you have it. That's our Blunder Bowl for Season 4. Bit of a blowout as the Devils take care of business, lock down that first overall pick for Season 5's draft. And, uh, ooh -wee, I just can't wait to see who they pick. Who is it going to be? It's one of the names that y'all have redeemed, or one of the names from XCOM, which most of which y'all have also redeemed. Um, could be anybody. Literally. Claude having the best game of his entire season after the Fire Claude discussion. Interesting. 
while Oteen uh, has one of his worst. 18%, two completions to the other team. That's not good. Sodi! 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 Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League Playoffs, baby! You are just in time as our Blunder Bowl has just wrapped up. We're about to get into the games that matter. The games that matter a lot. The games that matter towards Super Bowl Four. Uh, up next is our Contenders Cup. Let me get my save state before I forget. And then... Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about it. Playoffs? You kidding me? Uh, playoffs? Season 4, Blunder Bowl. <laughs> I had to sneeze. That didn't matter as much for today. I explicitly said today. Because that'll matter more later. Um. Yeah. Alright, state saved. Settle up the prediction. Season 4 blunder- ah! Yes. Yes. Devils get the dubski. Congratulations to Devils betters. Thank you to everyone who bet. If you're just coming in, make sure to vote in the SGFL Player Awards. Vote in all four categories. Follow all four links. If you saw the Discord, you know that I'm an idiot, but I promise today they will all lead to different things. Um, <laughs> um, so make sure to vote in all four categories. Voting will conclude after the Blunder Bowl, or sorry, after the Bronze Bowl uh, is over, and then our player awards for all voted and non-voted categories will be will be presented. Um, I will be plugging this again between every game until now and then. There is one more, one more instance of that. Um, let's get our next game underway. That was a 38 to 17 dubski for the Devils. And now it's time to get on to the challenge tower. The Tower of Power. Who will be moving up towards the Goldens who are waiting in Gecko? Excuse me, to host the Super Bowl once again. Hell yeah, baby. Uh, let's fire up that next prediction. It's the Jets at the Undead. The New York J-E-T-E Jets making their playoff debut. The Undead back in the playoffs for the second season in a row. You got it, baby. Here they come. 15 minutes. 15 minutes to decide who will win uh, as far as the betting goes. Uh, the game will take, you know, a little longer. <laughs> oh, we got 4.2 on the Jets right away. Does anybody want to match on the undead side? Or do we have some snakes that are looking to snipe? Oh, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> uh, all right. One last time. Make sure you vote. Vote in all four categories. Player awards will be presented between the Bronze Bowl and Silver Showdown. And with that said, what is this? Ah. <laughs> the time has come. The Contenders Cup, our fourth ever Contenders Cup. The Jets, the Undead. I have to pause the music. Let's 
get underway. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. The Jets prepare to test their might. They will return Earl Giblets to kick off for the undead. The undead in their white and orange uniforms against the black and green Jets uh, here at home in Firelink. We've got Swarmers putting a nice return on this one. He's dodging everybody all the way down to the 31, and that is how you want to open the ball game, baby. If you're the Jets coming in to, uh, to uh, an opponent's stadium in a playoff scenario, that is how you want to open things up. Looking for Terry Grain on the first pass. Knocked away. Good defense. Prevents getting dunked on by the Flea Flicker on the opening play. I know. What a run by Swarmers. Richardson going left side off the fake reverse. Finding room on the outside. Cutting it back in. Touchdown, Jets. That was pretty quick, folks. That was pretty quick. Jets came to play, I think. We'll have to see how the undead respond. We'll have to see how Saint-4 and the undead respond. But it looks like the Jets came to play. They opened things up with a really nice return, and that set them up for a really quick scoring drive. Um, Patches... Puts a decent return himself, although nothing compared to what Swarmers did earlier. Oswald up the middle, going nowhere as the defense gets right through the offensive line. Come on, Saint-4, you gotta throw it. Oswald around the right side. Has some room, gets some more. First down, crosses midfield to the 45 before being tackled. They're gonna matriculate. They're gonna matriculate. Running it again. Mildred this time. Bob bobbing around and really, I think, losing ground in the long run uh, with uh, too much fancy footwork. St. Ford dodging a sack, holding the ball for a while. Gets the pass off, looking for Solaire. Wants the TD, got it. Touchdown, chosen undead. Whew. That was quite a play. And this, woo! I thought they were gonna get a chance at getting a hand at that. Maybe block it, but no, it sails right through the uprights and it's good, 7-7 seven, seven ball game. That is the Saint-4 we know. Dropping bombs to Solaire. When is NFL opening day? Next Thursday. Uh, I'm not sure. I think so. That sounds right. Hot cold man with the sack. Trambody stopped in his tracks. Handoff goes to Richardson between the tackles. Slides through for a first down. Nicely done. Gonzalez with the catch. They will not give him the first down. He's right up against it. Need to get past the 25. They want to get a little further than that, though, it looks like. Looking for Cold Cocked in the middle. Got it! In traffic! What a catch by Cold Cocked! And the Jets take the lead once again. Threading the needle is Tram Bodie. On the receiving end with short hands is Cold Cocked. And the Jets lead 14 to seven. Hernandez kicking it away. That's a bit of a squib. Though coverage is good and they'll only return it to the 40, but that's really good starting field anyway. 29 seconds to go in what has been a busy first quarter. He'll dump it in the flat to Oswald. Gets past the first down markers. Up to the 43, one more play before the end of the first. Heavy pressure on St. Four, and he's going down. It's Gin Jinlins. St. Four looking for Andre in double coverage. No good. Third and 19 coming up. Undead looking to say a prayer, maybe do a little sorcery. Oswald on the right sideline. Tight roping all the way down inside the 20 before being caught up with. And he's dragged down at the 19. What a run for the first down on third and 19. 
It's no, it's no, it's no some miracle from fourth and thirty, but it's uh, quite a run anyway. Second and six coming up from the fourteen. Handoff goes to Mildred. Tries to find a little room and a tight gap. Doesn't work out. <laughs> Saint four from third and four, lobbing. Ooh, little underthrown, and they'll have to settle for a field goal to draw within four. Earl Jivlitz comes on for what should be a chip shot. Uh. Woo. I was gonna say or not, but he got it. Fourteen to ten, undead. Still trailing by four. Guts bending as much as possible without breaking there? Yeah, for real. He's a sorcerer. He's not the only one. Terry Grain on the curl. Oh, this looks good. Can he outrun him? Oh, tripped up. Bodhi intercepted. That pass was jumped. That was quite the play by the defensive back to jump that ball. Oh, my goodness. He read Trambody's eyes the whole way. The whole way. And now Saint 4 taking off on the QB keeper. He's outrunning everybody. Can he get past this one? No, he gets dropped immediately as soon as they make contact. But he's got a huge run. And the undead have a chance to take the lead. Oh, caught by Solaire on a quick pass. That was not designed that way, but he had to get rid of it in a hurry. Should have just held on to it. <laughs> Easy reads. Easy reads for the defense. I'll be interested to see what defensive back made that interception. Uh, I did not see. I don't know if the name popped. Whoa! Dwight Rorchigal with the sack! Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Oh my goodness! Crow Poltang getting in on the action! Fourth and 20! And the Jets somehow hold! Earl Jivlitz from a good bit further away, still very makeable, and it's right down the middle. 14 13, one point game. That's a nice kick. Swarmers to return from the 32. Gets a little help, breaking a tackle. Gets it up to the 43. Not bad, not bad. Richardson. Hand it back to Lycan. Whose name is, I haven't called much. Oh my goodness! He drops it and the undead scoop it! And they call him down right there. And sh <laughs> he recovered it out of bounds. I don't know about that. Oswald all by himself. Touchdown undead. They take the lead. Whoa. Whoa. Home field refs may have just given the hometown team a little bit of a pick me up just before halftime and the undead get the ball first to start the second half something smells rotten in firelink shrine hashtag big fix oh my goodness now the jets really need to get going giving the ball to the opposition after giving up the lead you know no matter what horny like and drop the ball Unless his knee was down. I mean, I don't know. Dwight Rorchigal with another sack to open up the second half. And that'll bring up second and 19 from the 13. Oh, my goodness. Nowhere to go for Oswald. Third and 21 from back at the 11. Here come the Jets. Here come the Jets. It's Dwight Rorchigal and the Jets. J-E-T-E Jets. <laughs> And the undead will have to punt from their own end zone. The Jets' defense does everything it can there to get their offense back out on the field and not let a really bad scenario occur in which they fall down by multiple scores against a team that they've been in control against for the most part throughout this game. I know it's been close all the way up, but really, before that fumble, they've been relatively in control. 
They'd either had the lead or been tied the whole time. We got a flea flicker. Looking for Lycan. Oh, incomplete. Good defense by that corner. Looking for incomplete. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. They're going to have to punt. Oh, no. Boyos punt. Oh, just inside the end zone. That's really close to being a perfect punt. Get it on that one yard line. That's that's ooh, that's perfect in uh in Tecmo. Twit Rorchigal having a career day. Another sack. I have not been keeping count. I think that's four for him. Which I think will tie a postseason record. Oh, nice defense by the corner. Keeping that one away from Solaire. St. Ford dropping back on third down. Sacked again. It's Rorschagel again. Fourth and 28. And the Jets defense doing everything it can to stay in this game. Can the offense take the lead? Lycan puts a decent return on that, and they'll start from the 42. 107 to go in the third quarter. It's been a quiet second half so far. Big blitz, hot cold man with the sack. Had to get food. What the heck happened to the Jets? Uh, <laughs> I think uh, it's hard to say what happened to the Jets, but they're working on it. Looking for cold cocked, incomplete, and that's going to bring up another fourth down, and they'll have to punt once again, as this has been just a just a defensive slugfest of a third quarter. They got robbed! That's right, they got robbed. I couldn't find the word. That's a good punt by Boyo. Oh my goodness, a great, great block! Great block! And they get it up to the 18 on what was a really nice punt. They need to double team that man for getting smoked. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Oh my goodness, here they come again. Jets defense. I, I The undead may need to just hold on to this six point lead at this point. The Jets defense seems to have them figured out. Oh my goodness, Snary! Snary Shichuan! And the undead are punting it away from their own end zone for the third time in a row. We are in the fourth quarter now, folks. Uh, just over four minutes to play in the ball game. It's a six-point game, undead lead. Looking for Gonzalez. Bodie cannot connect. Jets offense has been anemic ever since that fumble didn't go their way. Oh, my goodness. Dodging one sack and then getting laid out by another. It's the Gaping Dragon. You know the one. Oh, pressured again. It's Asylum Demon. They're going to go for it. This is probably the ball game. Especially if you're going to do it this way. Oh, my God. A terrible call by the Jets. A terrible call by the Jets, and they they essentially give it away, barring barring some spectacular play by their defense. Snary get us a, a deep sack there. They could sack them out of field goal range, I suppose, and then there's still enough time. But um, I mean, you can't keep expecting the defense to deliver for you, because there goes Sick Linda with a big catch and a first down. Oh my goodness! Oh my lands! Mildred, down the left side. Ooh, just shy of a first down. The Jets' defense needs to do something. The Undead can put it away here. Left side, Mildred, got it! Touchdown, Undead! Oh, my goodness. They were down 7 nothing, came up 7-7. Down 14-7, came up 14-10. 14-13.
<laughs> had a little bit of a funny business go their way. And uh, all of a sudden, they're up by 13. And with uh, just under two minutes to go, it's looks like, it looks like the Undead are going to win the ball game. I don't want to count my chickens before they get up. But Trambody can't even complete a pass. So I don't know what in the world they're supposed to do. They went for it with plenty of time left to get it back. Shows no confidence in their D, which is odd, considering how good their defense have been playing. What, Tram? Richardson cannot find room. Fourth and five, minute four to go. Jets scored no points in the second half, at least so far. Terry Grain looking to change that, and he will! All right. With that, there is a bit of a, a, a scenario on the, on, on, on the table. They could get the onside. There is still plenty of time to get the onside and throw a bomb to Terry Grain again. Oh my God, that was a bad onside. Mildred's got it and is running away with it. Running away with the Jets' hopes and dreams. 11 seconds to play, and the undead just need to run out the clock. Barring anything fucking insane, they will win it. Uh, Mildred <laughs> was trying to put some salt in the wounds. Doesn't get the chance. 27-21. Undead get it done. Um... Huge shout out to both defenses, really. Um. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hashtag robbed, hashtag rigged. Regardless, they're losers! And they're out! What does that mean? Well, let me get my save state, first and foremost. Save state. Season four, Contenders Cup. 27-21, Undead, get it done. Whew. They were exactly who we thought they were. And we let him off the hook. That's why we took the damn field. They are who we thought they were. I used to have that as a bit alert. I don't think I do anymore. I think I got rid of it. But that's a good bit, nevertheless. Voice crack and all. My voice crack, not his. Uh-huh. Um, oh, with that... The undead. Here, I should probably show this. Prediction. Settle it up. Undead win. Congratulations, undead betters. Thank you to everyone who bet. If you haven't voted yet, vote! Vote! Oh my god! Ever. And you're disgusting. Dwigged. Wait, who's dwigged? Here's what we think happened. Michael's sidekick, who all through the movie is this complete idiot who's causing the downfall of the United States, was originally named Dwight, but then Michael changed it to Samuel L. Chang using a search and replace, but that doesn't work on misspelled words. Leaving behind one twigged. And Dwight figured twigged. it out. Oops. D W. <laughs> oh! That's where it comes from. What about the Rorschachal? Or wait, isn't Dwicked Rorschachal just from uh, an NES baseball game? Undead will be advancing to the Bronze Bowl, which means this is the last, uh, last opportunity to vote. You gotta vote. You gotta vote, it's important. It's important, god damn it. 
He was? Okay. That's what I thought. But still, Dwicked. By the time next season rolls around, I will have forgotten again. <laughs> Undead at Starman. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Um, oh. Oh. No, I have to... I have to... The undead have advanced, and therefore, we'll move into the challenge position and move up to face the starmen. Challenge tower, baby. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I just slid it over. <laughs> I used my arrow keys. Yup. Oh boy. All right. Let's get into it. Undead at Starman. Winner of this game heads down to the bayou to face the Billies in the Silver Showdown, but they gotta get there first. And the only way there is through the other guys. So Undead, Starman, next! Starman need to win this game to not finish with their first losing record. Ah, good point. Starman do win the toss. Perhaps that's a sign. Earl Jivlitz lining up to kick off. Maximum kick. Volte Don Tits back to receive it. From the back of his own end zone. He'll bring it up and out. He's been a pretty good return man for the Starman. For, for the, I almost said for the Starman. He's been a pretty good return man for the Starman so far this season. Gets it up to the 13 here. Ness. Throwing from his own one. Waits for them to get right in his face before he uncorks for Saturn. There's a defensive back back there for the one-star man. That was a good return for the one-star man. Yes, yes. Saturn open this time. Diving for it. Gets up and then is tackled at the undead 45. That's a huge flip of field position for the Starman. Ness dropping back out of the shotgun again. Gonna go down. It's the Iron Golem with the sack. And that'll put them back in their own side of the field by a lot. Second and 23 coming up. Shotgun play once again. Has Saturn. Has Bubble Monkey. Got Bubble Monkey. First down and more inside the 20. That's an offensive player of the season candidate throwing to an offensive player of the season candidate. Uh, Ness is also up for MVP. But I wanted the symmetry of the statement. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Alt Unis won the last game. Will they here? Indeed. Starman take the lead as they wear their, uh, what do you call that? I guess their pink helmets and pants and then their, their, their. What kind of green is that? Oh, mint. It's like a mint. They're mint. They're mint green uh, jerseys. They look good. Looking good, and they uh, they score the opening points of the game. The hometown crowd likes it, and so does Saudi. Siglinda on the pass from St. Four. Wide open on the right sideline. That's a big first down for the undead. Looking to tie things back up. They're used to playing from behind. They don't mind it. As long as you got more points than the other guys at the end of the game, you get to win. Sea green, mint green. Oh, yeah, kind of like a sea foam green also. A little bit like that. Jackie with a postseason sacky. Gotta love that. Wearing that exact same color sweatshirt right now. Really? Sounds nice. It's a good color. 
Is that how you is that how you chose? Undead will fizzle out and rely on Jivlets for a long range field goal. It's good down the middle from the prodigy. Earl Jivlets. 7-3 ball game. Starman gonna be looking to uh, put the pressure on with another touchdown here. That's how they like to do it. Overwhelming force. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Ness stepping up. Taking off uh, for a couple, but he's corralled quickly. Ah, gotcha. Mensa down the left sideline into undead territory. That's a nice run for Nutfog Mensa. Father of Black Fog Mensa, who you can find in the XCOM 2 playthrough right now. Saturn intercepted! That was Ornstein! Ornstein with the interception to close out the first quarter. Ness with a postseason pick. Oh, Jackie with a postseason sacky. They are backed up into the danger zone. You cannot give up anything down here. Mildred escaping. Mildred getting out in front. First down and a lot more up to the 36, and they are right out of the danger zone. And now they got some room to work. Starman colors best colors. No, Devil's colors best colors. They're my, the, the Devils are my favorite colors anyway. But, like, even then, I like the Patriots uniforms and a lot of the alt uniforms, too. Like, the uniforms across the SGFL just look great. Four, looking for Siglinda. Under pressure. Interception! That's Starman Alpha. Returns it a little bit to the 23, and the Starman take it the other way. Heavy pressure. Slaps the pass back down in Ness's face, but there will not be a sack. Oh my. Starman. Surveying for a long time. Uncorks it for Saturn. Caught with a man on top of him. He's wrangling him now. He's he's waiting for backup. They come. They get him down at the 19, but it's a huge gain for Mr. Saturn. Saturn over the middle! Touchdown, Starman! Saturn, who I think had a fairly quiet season, especially when compared to counterpart Bubble Monkey. Um, looking like the go-to guy that he is and has been in, uh, historically, you know, in seasons past, here in the playoffs. Gotta love that. His teammates just ran away instead of helping him break the tackle. Undead in a bit of a hole now. Throwing from the danger zone for Solaire. Oh, cannot dive and clench it. Solaire open, but Jackie is also open and on top of the quarterback. Third and 19 coming up. On the danger zone once again. Oh! That's a safety! They're ruling it a safety! They're saying he was in the end zone, even just barely! Perhaps that's the undead's way of, uh, of, of, uh... You know, this is, this is, this is the Starman getting back at the undead for that, that hokey fumble in the, uh, in the Jets game. <laughs> Starman lead at 16 to 3. Dude, we need a Jackie with a Saki uh, sound effect. Mensa goes up and gets it, then gets a nice block from Saturn and is able to run it in. The Starmen are running away with it. Oh my goodness, what a catch by Nutfog Mensa. A running back looking like a wide receiver. I know, all of a sudden, all of a sudden it would take the greatest... Uh, come back not just in postseason history but in SGFL history 
for the undead to come back. They've done it before. They do hold the record. But um, you're down by 20, and now it's halftime. They uh, they get the ball first. That is one thing. So we'll we'll have to see. But uh, it's not looking good for them. <laughs> I see no one else believes in them either, judging by the uh, the stoop bucks. Mildred out of the flat doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with after that. Second and eight. And the undead just need to get something going. Come on. Sig Linda in double coverage. Well, I could have told you that that was a bad idea. <laughs> Rolling out to the left. Pressure is on. Jackie has his number today. And uh, if you uh, listen closely, you can hear Roni Tomo start to sweat as he knows that uh, they will be coming for him next. A punt by the undead, and the Starmen are going to be looking to continue to pour it on. Starmen looking to break the record for widest margin of victory in a postseason game. They hold the record, I think, for a... Or no! That record was broken, actually, by the Goldens this season. Against the undead. <laughs> How do you like that? Mensa, left side, a lot of room down the sideline, crosses midfield, they're diving after him, but they can't quite get him. Finally, they grab a shoelace or something and trip him up. First and 10, all the way down to the 31. That's the undead 31. Monkey on the left side, touchdown, Starman. Silver showdown, so exciting. I'm excited for it. The Starmen were in the Silver Showdown last season as the home team. This time it looks like they're going to get to go as the road team. And my goodness. I, uh, oh man, I just don't know. I just don't know. Are the Billies going to be able to deal with this? The Billies have been very good, and they have two players nominated for MVP, and then one for, for each of the subcategories. Uh, respectively. Ready, down. The Undead beat the Starmen earlier this season. So this is a huge um, revenge game that is being carried out um, uh, <laughs> spectacularly by the Starmen. Saint 4 running for his life. Running into a mob and going down. Looking for Solaire. Touchdown! Undead get into the end zone, finally. I think this might be too little too late. My god, if we somehow end up with Starman Goldens again. I guess it wouldn't have been the same championship four seasons in a row, just three out of four, which is kind of interesting. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Oh my goodness. One on the und- Wow! Oh! I was wondering what you were talking about. Who is- Who's that? Ready, down. Put, who's that brave put, soul? Put, put, put. Well, actually, I guess it's not- It's not- It's not that necessarily brave. It's like buying a scratch off. Definitely like buying a scratch off. <laughs> if the undead like got a turnover right now, then maybe. But they won't. In fact, they will give up another touchdown to Bubble Monkey, who you can vote for in the uh, uh, for offensive player of the season if you think he deserves it. We are uh, we are closing in on our player award ceremony. So don't go away, folks. That's coming up, and it's uh, going to be great. Ready, down. Put, 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 
Undead down by 27. Is Ness channeling playoff Jorge? Oh, man. He's going to have some pretty good stats. Oh, man. I'm actually going to be curious to see. The Bronze Bowl was Jorge's uh, biggest game of last season, too. If I if I recall. I think he threw 341 in the Contenders Cup and then 382 in the Bronze Bowl. Yo, what's up, Stoop? I mean, spoon. what's up, Spoon? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League playoffs. You are joining us on the tail end of what has been a rather one-sided uh, Bronze Bowl. We're about halfway through the evening, but we've got our player awards coming up. Hit uh, exclamation point SGFL vote and vote in all four categories for the player you'd like to win as that ceremony will be coming up next and those polls will be closing shortly. Um, other than that, I hope you're having a good night. Um, it looks like the Starmen will be advancing to face the Billies in our next round. Um, winner of that Silver Showdown will head into Gecko to play the Goldens for the Super Bowl. Um, and while the matches may have been... Uh, that the, the Contenders Cup was exciting until, like, the fourth quarter. And then it, whenever it got, like... It was still... It was really close pretty much the whole way. Um, this game got one-sided in a hurry and did not stop. We'll see if that is indicative of the rest of the evening. Hopefully not. We have a side change as a fourth down sack. Switches the sides, and uh, Ness is throwing again. Looking for Mr. Saturn. Oh, incomplete. A little bit of a hitch there. Under pressure. Going down, it's Smo. And the Starmen will settle for a field goal. Put their lead up to 30. 40 to 10. Pole star. No good! I cannot believe that they missed that. Yeah, the rookie poll is, uh, I think, a pretty good one. It was tough this season. Um, only only three nominees. I think last season we had quite a few more standout rookies. Um, regardless, though, still, I, as you said, a, a good chin scratcher. I think, honestly, every category you could scratch your chin for at least a moment. Um... I think most of the nominees, uh, I mean, they wouldn't be nominated if there wasn't a case for them, but in my opinion, most of the nominees are, or in each category, you could, you could uh, debate a little bit, except maybe defensive player, just because Chuck Bednarik was so outstanding. Well, that's just my opinion. What a whooping, I know. Undead make it a little more respectable as time expires. 37-17 is what this will go down as, and that is your Season 4 Bronze Bowl. The Starmen are heading down to the bayou, baby. Roni Tomo is going to have to be running for his life from Jackie, who's going to be looking for a whole lot of sacky. 303 yards. That is a, a little bit of a... A little bit of a... a a, a playoff Jorge. It's 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 similar enough. Frankly, that just looks like playoff Ness. Bronze Bowl. That does mean that the Starmen uh, medal again, and the Undead are eliminated from meddling. Um. Once again, which is a shame for them, as it's the second season in a row that they've been in the Bronze Bowl. I don't think the hitch, like, caused the pass to be incomplete, though. Like, the computer... The computer player wasn't like... Duh. 
Oh shit. And like whiff with his arms. I don't know. Um ooh, with that, alright, I've got my stay. Let's plug in the score. 3717. It is time to vote. Last chance. Last chance. I'm about to close the polls. You gotta go and vote. You gotta go vote, get up, and vote. Vote in all four categories. All right, that's the last time I will say. Um, let's segue over here. Billy's the last team remaining to have never been, well, the last team of the three remaining to not have been to the Super Bowl before. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Um, let me plug this in. We've got the Starmen. On the road this time around in the Silver Showdown. Um... Uh... Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to flick over here, and I'm going to present the awards. Um, I'm going to leave the voted awards open while I announce the unvoted awards, and then I'm going to close the unvoted or the voted awards and announce those as well. So, let me let me find where I wrote this down. Somewhere in my messages with Chip. <laughs> oh, it must be after this. Oh no. Oh God. How long ago did we? All right, I found it. All right. All right. Okay. I had it and I lost it. <laughs> no, there it is. All right, it's fine. All right. Okay. For our first voted category. For our first voted, or sorry, for our first non-voted category. Uh, best kicker, the winner of best kicker is... Paula Polestar of the Starmen! The same one who missed that kick in the previous game. Yes, that was the first thing that crossed my mind. But nevertheless, congratulations, Paula. You won the big one after being uh, labeled one of the uh, more hit and miss kickers um, either last season or season before. She's even got the record for most misses in a season. Yeah, fair enough, a totally meaningless kick at the very least, but still, you know. Um, it was the first thing I thought. It was like, oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to announce her name in a few minutes. Well, yes, congratulations, Paula Polestar of the Starmen. You are 
SGFL Season 4's Best Kicker. And now, the award for Best Punter. And the award for Best Punter in the SGFL goes to... Lena of the New York J-E-T-E -E Jets. That's right, right? She plays for the Jets now. She used to play for the Defenders. She's the only player to ever uh, play for one team and then get signed by another. It just kind of worked out that way because there was room. Jets needed a punter and uh, the Defenders were cutting her. The New York J -E -T -E Jets. So congratulations to the Jets and to Lena Formerly a defender, now a Jet, and a best punter of the season winner. You gotta love that. All right. For our third non-voted category, we have... Special Teams Player of the Season. Your Special Teams Player of the Season is Falco Marconi of the Gecko Goldens. Congratulations, Falco. I'll tell you what, the Gecko Goldens really know how to put out return, guys. Um, T-Ray won it back in the day. Maybe even twice? And uh, here we have yet another Gecko Golden winning it here. Uh, Falco Marconi. So, good for Falco. And, uh, and of course, the Goldens organization, although they've got their eyes on bigger prizes. Alrighty. One final unvoted category. Best Offensive Line. It is a collective award given to an entire, a team's entire offensive line as a unit based on how well they protected for both pass and and run. So, the winner of Offensive Line of the Season is... The Acania Defenders Offensive Line. Congratulations! I'll tell you what, Jorge would have liked some of that. Um, although, if Jorge had been playing, who knows if it would have even gone down the same way. Uh, that being said... Congratulations to the Defenders. They've come a long way from being one of the worst offensive lines to one of the best, or rather the best, uh, according to math. Yes, math. We stand the Defenders. Alrighty, that brings us to our voted categories. Allow me... If you will, to close the polls and announce the winners. First, I will announce our nominees. Close. Uh, close. I'm closing them. I'm closing them. Thank you, everyone, for voting. I very much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All righty, folks. Let's hear it for... Our first, our first uh, award we're going to announce is Offensive Player of the Season. Um, nominees were oh, whoops. I mean, not whoops. Don't worry about it. Ew. 
Interesting. All right. Uh, the nominees were Goris of the Gecko Goldens, Ness of the Starmen, Roni Tomo of the Bayou Billies, and Bubble Monkey of the Four Side Starmen. And as per your votes, oh my. One, two, three, three. Oh, my goodness. We have a tie. Well, when you have a tie, you have a tie, at least when it comes to player awards. So, your winners of the Season 4 SGFL Offensive Player of the Season Award are... Goris of the Gecko Goldens and Ness of the Foreside Starmen. Both of them. Each of them receiving the most votes with three apiece. It was actually quite a good spread. Everybody got at least one. Um, Woo! Very good spread on this one. Interesting to see. It had a nice little pie chart to look at. Um, there you have it. So your co-offensive players of the season are Goris and Ness. Um, I should write that down. Up next, we've got Defensive Player of the Season. Defensive Player of the Season. Wait, whoops. Wow. The nominees for Defensive Player of the Season were Chuck Bednarik of the Bayou Billies and Jackie of the Foreside Starmen. And your winner of the Season 4 SGFL Defensive Player of the Season Award with all of the votes to none is... Chuck Bednarik, baby, of the Bayou Billies. And uh, oh my, oh me, oh me, oh my, what a deserving guy. Um, he had safeties, he had sacks, he had fumble, forced fumbles and fumble recoveries. He was all over every side of the field. That is a well-deserved defensive player of the season award. That was seven votes to none. Four in the live vote, because I, I guess a couple of people couldn't find the defensive one. And then three in the pre-vote. That one was my fault. <laughs> I do not remember. I feel like maybe not. But maybe. Certainly the greatest landslide victory. Seven votes to none. In a unanimous decision the stoop likes chuck and chuck likes the stoop um hopefully he can, can uh carry the confidence of a defensive player of the season into his game with the starman interesting that both nominees for defensive player of the season would end up meeting in the following game the silver showdown isn't it but let's not get ahead of ourselves we still got rookie of the season to announce haven't we Rookie of the season. Oh, me. Oh. My. <laughs> Nominees for rookie of the season are as follows. Little Jacob of the Raccoon City Umbrella. B. Buston of The Chosen Undead, and Roy Gamow of The Polis Crew. 
Now, as per your votes between both the pre-vote and the live vote, the winner of the SGFL Season 4 Rookie of the Season Award is... B. Bustin! Congratulations! Bustin makes him feel good! That was, uh, let me see, four, six votes to three and one. Six votes. Got six of the votes out of... Out of 10? Got six out of the 10 votes. Not bad. Not bad. Congratulations. Be busting. I hope that makes you feel good. But now, folks, it's time for our fourth, final, and most important category. Or rather, I guess it's the eighth final and most important category. And that is, of course, most valuable player. The nominees for Most Valuable Player were... Goris of the Gecko Goldens. Ness of the Foreside Starmen. Roni Tomo of the Bayou Billies. And Chuck Bednarik of the Bayou Billies. Let me just take a look at these votes here. No fucking way. Y'all are not going to believe this. Yo, what's up, Spice? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League Playoffs. You're just in time as we're about to announce our most valuable player of the season and then get into our final two matches of the season. Um, Not quite that good. Drum roll, please. Your winner of Season 4's most valuable players are... Goris and Roni Tomo! But here's the thing. Live vote. Roni Tomo, four votes to two votes. Goris with the two votes. Pre-vote. Goris with the four votes. Roni Tomo with the two votes. So literally the live vote and the... Or the pre-vote and the live vote flipped. Four to two. Giving them each six votes. And a tie. For MVP. For the first time since season one. Who tied then? Goris and Pooh. <laughs> so Goris has won four MVPs in a row. But he's tied two of them. Interesting. How do you like that? Goris and Roni Tomo. Which means we have a chance for uh, both MVPs to play in the Super Bowl. Depending on how this next game goes. Um, if not, it would be both offensive players of the season playing in the Super Bowl. So no matter what, we are in for a treat. Um, oh, man. Thank you all very much for voting. I, uh, I love player awards. It's one of my favorite parts of the season overall. It's one of the things I look forward to the most about the playoffs. Um, and it doesn't work uh, unless people vote. So thank you guys very much for voting. I really, really appreciate it. Um... You, you chose well. I, I would say you chose very well this season. I, I would agree with all of these decisions. Um, don't have a problem with one of them. Um, there you have it. Co-MVPs. How about that? Three-way MVP would have been insane. Little Jacob robbed. I don't know. He was definitely a standout, but, like, B-Bustin was an incredible defensive force. Probably equivalent or greater. To, uh... To what Little Jacob provided. Also, I think B-Bustin got the edge in voting because he was on a playoff team. I think if Little Jacob was the one on the playoff team, it would have gone differently. But hey. That's the way it goes. Folks. It's time to get started 
I'm going to queue up the prediction. And we're going to get underway. We've got two games left this season. Silver Showdown, Super Bowl Four. Oh, mama. I haven't even settled up the last prediction. Starman win. In case you didn't know. Um, Star, whoop, Starman at B -B -B Billy's. Coming up next, you got 15 minutes to decide. We'll be kicking off that game in just a moment. Yee. 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 Oh man, big finish. Here we go. No whammies. Um Golly. Oh. The Starmen uh won, and so they will be moving into the challenger position do I go with my gut or my heart that is the question this is a game of heart hosting guts some may say those things aren't that different I say they're wrong Starman at Billy's Coming up next, there's only one thing left to do, and that's get down to it. B I L L I E I I. Billy's. Silver Showdown number two is about to is about to get underway. Do I hear a? Oh, I thought I heard music that I left on. Never mind. All right, let's do it. These are my two favorite teams, but I gotta go with the Billies. Spelled B-I-L-L-I-E-I-I. -I. Starman, Billies, Silver Showdown. Winner faces the Goldens in the Stuper Bowl. I'm on the edge of my seat, and you should be too. Let's get down there, baby. No, it's okay. I'm just playing. Woo! Mama! Billy's win the toss. We'll see how it goes. As Paula Polestar, winner of the Best Kicker Award, gets ready to kick it away. Morning. Fumble! Goes out of bounds, but only just barely. Oh my goodness, that was almost catastrophic. Taylor with nowhere to go. Yo, what's up, Soviet? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. You're just in time for our semifinal match as Tomo throws an interception. His first interception of the season. Did not throw an interception all regular season. His first pass is intercepted by the Starman. This pass by Ness sailing out of bounds. An absolutely insane start. The near turnover into the actual turnover. Here come the Billies. Quick throw to Monkey. To Monkey. Fumbles go out of bounds? Yeah. They're supposed to. Satter not able to reel it in. Fourth down, and they'll have to call on Polestar to kick a field goal after a quick three and out. Thanks to the interception, they do uh, get the chance at some points. But they don't get them! Polestar missing two field goals now this postseason. 0 for 2 this postseason as Taylor takes it right side. Gets through on the right side. Crosses midfield before being tripped up. First down, Billy's. Oh my goodness, oh my god. Pressure on Tomo, gets it away to Horning. Dodging, cutting around, 20, down to the 11. Another nice first down for the Billy Boys. Oh, Sacky by Jackie. You're gonna be seeing some of that. Ready, 
Can Tomo overcome it? Under pressure again, going down again! Oh man. Oh man. Taylor finding room! Touchdown! Billy's take the lead! Jimmy Taylor putting the moves on him! The Billies are not going to go quietly into that good night in their uh, postseason appearance, their first postseason appearance. They are here in front of this home crowd, and they want to put on a show. Starman or no? Volte Don Tits puts a short return on a lackluster kick, and they'll set up at the 39. Ness in the shotgun. As Saturn on the left and Monkey on the right. Holding the ball for a long time before letting it go to Monkey. Got it. They'll score. Touchdown, Starman. They answer right back. The Billies are sending letters while the Starman got email. As they answer quickly. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, baby thank you for the dime. Yes, Billies, Billies, Billies. Billies, Billies, Billies. Yo! Thank you for the resub, Spice. Ten go, months! Monkey, go. go, monkey, go. <laughs> thank you, Kendra. Thank you, Spice. Jackie with another sack. Second and 19 coming up. We're all tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. Billy's in the danger zone. You don't want to give up a safety here. Oh, breaks a tackle. Gets away from Jackie. Gets around to the left. Gets down the sideline. Has a first down. Still going. Out running. All of them. Breaking tackles and getting a little bit more. All the way to the Starman 42. Tomo in the shotgun. Jackie gets right through. Has to throw it quickly. Intercepted Starman Alpha. Jumps over it. And that'll take us to the second quarter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Just give it to Jim this game. Should have done it there. Ness. Looking for Saturn. Caught in traffic. Big bad traffic. Ooh, ooh. What a game so far, indeed. Heavy pressure on Ness. He's going to unload. Looking for Gorgeous. Gorgeous gets away. Touchdown, Starman. They take the lead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my word. Morning, gonna return. Not much room on that return, and they'll set up at the 35. Heavy pressure on the blitz. Quick throw. Horning can't reel it in. It was a little off target. Tomo's getting bullied. <coughs> Jackie coming through. Gets it off to Belly, who's got a first down. They're going to have to make those quick throws because one one in, in like seven are going to, you're going to be able to actually take your time. Here's that one. Can Tomo take advantage? Uncorks. Looking long for Taylor. Incomplete. Thought he was going to throw for Norton, but no such. Handoff to Taylor. Cuts it through the middle, third and three coming up. They're in field goal range for Capaletti, but you don't want a field goal. You want to you wanna get that first down, get out to the right sideline, still go. Keep going. Break a tackle. Get slammed down at the one-yard line. They're knocking on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? Hello, open up. It's me, Billy Boys, Jim Taylor. Ending this Capaletti extra point, we've got a tie ball game back on our hands. Boom. That's a slam dunk, baby. Jim Taylor's busted. Oh shit, the crowd goes wild. Don Tits putting a nice return on this. Capaletti trying to make the tackle to save a touchdown, and he will! Although, now they just need to walk it in, basically. Heavy pressure on Ness. They bring him down. It's John Elway, the third. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this another sack? Can Ness break away? No! Help arrives! It's Fisting Bungus! Third and 24. The Starmen like it. They toss to Mensa, who's tackled! A touchdown saving tackle by the Billies! And Polestar will come out for their third kick this postseason. Second one today. They haven't made one yet. But they will here, I just wonder. off the upright. Meryl! Welcome. You're just in time as uh, we're about to hit halftime in what's been a good silver showdown. Um, this game and then the Super Bowl. Ooh, we thank you, thank you, thank you. Thought I'd go all out for the playoffs. Got to do it big, right? Um, Billy's and Starmen locked in heated battle. Billy's trying to get in field goal range just before halftime to tie it back up. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Pressure. Playoffs. Taylor. 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 Should spell it T A I L O R. Because he's making them just rip out of their shoes. Their pants. Got it. Off the upright and in. Capoletti's kick is good and we are tied. From 52. Not bad. They both have even quarters. 7-7 seven, seven first quarter. 10-10 second quarter. 17-17 seventeen, seventeen ball game so far. Billy's are for real, but so are the Starmen, and only one can win. Who's it gonna be? The second half is where we find out. Starmen, get the ball first. We'll see. Do they have what it takes to pull away? Don Tits putting another nice return on this. The Billy's gotta get on him. Don Tits having a career day. Toss to Mensa, left side, dodges one. Runs into another, but not before getting the first down at the 20. You give the Starman a short field, and I mean, you're asking for a lot. Toss to Mensa, wide open lane, gets even wider! Touchdown, Starman! <laughs> He's just standing there. Sometimes they are frozen in fear. Polestar's extra point is good. 24-17. Starman pull ahead to start the second half. We'll see how the Billies answer. Ooh, that is good coverage by the kicking team. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Tomo under pressure going down. He was about to throw it. He was winding up. Lucky he didn't drop. Lucky he didn't drop it. He's got time. Can't even take advantage. He gets it off. Incomplete over the middle. So far, the plays where he's actually had time to throw, he hasn't even been able to take advantage of them. Taylor up the middle. Oh my goodness, nobody's around. They were all cheating forward. They didn't count on Taylor right through the middle, but he's at the 20. He's at the 10. They're trying to catch him, but they won't. Touchdown, Jim Taylor. Touchdown, Billies! What a run! Oh my god! B I L L I E I I. Billies! You got that right! Holy cow! Nani? <laughs> we got a ball game on our hands, folks. They're going shot for shot. This is the Silver Showdown, and we <laughs> it is a showdown. Oh. Monkey has it. Defender catches up to him, but not before he gets to the 26. First down, Starman. First down, Starman. Got Saturn on the left. He got Saturn on the left. Going to throw for Token, who does make the grab, and that should be a first down. They'll measure it. Good. Starman moving the ball in chunks at will. The Billies need to find some way to take an advantage. 
Oh, off his fingertips and incomplete. That was nearly a touchdown. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Mensa, right side. They can't catch him. Nutfog Mensa gives the storm in the lead. Oh, man. This is playoff SGFL, baby. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. 31-24, kick it back to the Billies. Chab wants a stop. <laughs> What's up, Cobra? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League playoffs. You're just in time for our semifinal match, which is drawing near its fourth quarter. Oh, we've been in that dark future, my friends. The Starmen are uh, for real. Billy's not able to move forward. Third and 15 coming up. We've seen that future. Oh, the Blitz! Taylor can't overcome the Blitz. What are they going to do? They're going to go for it to start the fourth quarter. This is a terrible idea. He's got good protection. No, he doesn't! It's Felatio! That may have just done it. They were going to punt. They were going to punt. Oh, Fisting Bungus gets the sack this time. They were going to punt, and then the quarter switched. Yes, it became fourth quarter, and it was time for fourth quarter strategy. Yeah. Here they come, getting after Mensa. They're backing them up. They're backing them up. Starman going to throw it left side to Star uh, to Saturn here. No, no, gonna gonna get sacked by Ed Kayat. The Billy's trying to make a stand. They are praying for another pole star miss. And it looks like they're gonna get it. Wide to the right. 408 on the clock, and you're only down by seven. Tomo's trying to get him in gear. We'll see if he can. He's got good protection for the first time all day, and he's gonna take off! First down run into Starman territory. Handoff goes to Horning. Taylor's gotten most of the carries today, but Horning puts a nice run together there for nine. Season theme never been more relevant than right now, yeah. Oh my goodness, Taylor breaking two tackles to fight for two extra yards, getting them down to the 25. First down. Billy's. Oh, sack by Phil Acio again. That takes us to just under three minutes to play in the ball game. Winner plays the Goldens in the Super Bowl. Pressure throws it away. Third and 19 coming up. What are they going to do? Pressure. Oh, my goodness. Sails out of bounds. What are they going to do? They're going to kick the field goal. They're going to kick the field goal. Capaletti kicking it away, and it is... No good! Oh, my God! Oh, man, that looked fine to me, but it is not. Bouncing off the upright and out. Mr. Saturn taking it away now. Billy's catching up to him from behind, but not before he takes it into uh, Billy's territory. As an alumnus of the eye, I'm happy for Phil. As a Billy's fan, he's breaking my heart. Token with the catch over the middle. That's nine yards there. And we are under two minutes as the Billies call their final timeout, and they need a miracle. Oh, Monkey with the dagger! Oh, man! For the Bayou Billies. Season is coming crashing down around them. A 7 and 0 start. Oh! <laughs> A 7-0 start leads to two straight losses, and one of which sends them home with no playoff dubski. They do get a medal. However, they do not even get the medal that they placed for. They get demoted to third place. Another sack by Jackie, and Tomo's getting torn apart. 
Oh my goodness. And we are going to have a rematch of Super Bowls 1 and 2 on our hands. Narton down the field, makes the catch, gets a block. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Wouldn't it be just insane? Wouldn't it be just wacky? <laughs> Wait a second. That's a perfect onside. That they recover immediately. That should clinch it for the Starmen. Um, Mensa taking it right side, trying to run out the clock. Or maybe pad the score? No time left. He's tripped up, and there you go. Starmen are going to the Super Bowl. Billies are crying in the bayou. Ness is the number one onside recoverer in, in SGFL history. For He has to be. He's got to be. He's got to be. Rony Tomo uh, played his worst game of the season, no doubt, in uh, the biggest stage. 36%, 146, two interceptions after not throwing any all season. That's rough. That's rough, Rony. But uh, Ness looking good for another uh, another game. Is that Rony's worst game ever? Ooh. Befitting his namesake, you leave, t you leave him alone. We're not gonna, we're not gonna make this about that right now. We're on the home stretch. We don't have to do that. Rony, you, you. Rony Tomo is an independent entity that has never been influenced by anything. Wait. <laughs> Get my safe state. Oh my goodness, Starmen are going to their third Super Bowl to play the Goldens in the Goldens fourth. Each of them going for their second win. Kind of wild. It's a little, it's a little poetic. It's a little poetic. <laughs> Better luck next year for the Billies. Their season comes crashing to a halt. Uh, it is a shame. It is, uh, it is sad. They will finish with the bronze medal, though. So, first time in the playoffs, and they finish with a medal. You didn't even have to win a game to do it. I mean, they had to win seven in the regular season. Let's not forget that. But, uh... Whew, and, oh my, even despite um, what could be considered a lackluster performance by Tomo, who was under pressure constantly. So offensive line wasn't really helping. Um, what could be considered a lackluster performance by him, still an incredibly close game. Jim Taylor, 13 carries for 244 yards. I mean, that might that, 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 that is probably a silver showdown record. Granted, Goris has never played in the Silver Showdown, so... But, you know. There was an offensive line? That's what I'm saying! I promise you they were there. They were just... Either very small or actually invisible. Translucent, maybe. Uh, not of this dimension and therefore pass-throughable. I'm not sure. 38-31. That's a good... Ooh. 38-31. That's a good silver showdown, though. I got my state. Let's segue over here while I plug in the Starman. The four-side Starman. At Gecko Goldens in Stuper Bowl 4. It is all led down to this. Somehow, some way, it was always meant to be this. Starman went from 0-4 this season to now 
challenging for the Super Bowl. Um, if they win it, <laughs> that'd be, uh, that'd be really something. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Let's get the next prediction, the final prediction going. Congratulations, Starman bettors. Thank you to everyone who bet. Got a Super Bowl. Doesn't need Defensive Player of the Season. Ness doesn't need that MVP. He'll, he'll settle for Offensive Player of the Season and a Super Bowl, uh, boyth. <laughs> Final prediction of the season. Starman at Goldens. It could only end one way. Final game of season four. It is all led up to this. Um, I want to say thank you, everyone, for, for watching throughout the season, throughout this playoff series. It has been a, a fantastic season, and it would not have been the same without you. It's been just so much fun. So much fun. And we are about to just put a bow on it. And uh, that's really special. So thank you. For real. And uh, with that said, I will get this final game ready to go. It has been, hasn't it? And the way this playoffs has worked out is, uh, yes, insane. Insane. Um, if they win it, you need to email John Boyce and get a rewinder on it. You're so right. And they're going to put this part in. <laughs> cut, 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 cut this part out. Cut this part out. Um, God, that, oh, jeez. Don't, don't, don't start with me, Cheb. That would be so fucking cool. <laughs> At one point, Starman's playoff odds were about 1%. While the Goldens have pretty much always been 99. <laughs> Except for whenever it was 100. One percent being generous, my goodness. Oh man. All right. What's left to say? Let's get down to the field. Let's crown a champion. Oh wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I gotta do the bit. I gotta do the bit. The Starman advance to the Super Bowl to face the Gecko Goldens. A rematch for the ages. The greatest rivalry in SGFL history. Or at least arguably so. Always playing on the largest stages. And they are back at it again. Starman Goldens. Coming up next. Had to win four straight and have the rest of the division collapse simultaneously. Yeah, right? So much has led to this moment. And now it is time to find out what it all amounts to. Starman Goldens, Super Bowl Season 4. Goldens win the toss. They're in their green and whites, and they're looking good. All unis undefeated in playoffs? Mmm. Marconi, winner of special teams player of the season, returns it to the 43, and we are underway. Dweller hands to Goris, and they are overrun immediately. Who wants to bet it all? Not Soviet, apparently, because they can't. Why can't you? Why can't you use the channel points, Soviet? Is it just bugging out? 
Goris, left side, breaks the tackle, and he's off to the races. Can they catch him? They will. But not before he's at the 22. That's a big run from the guy you'd expect to run it. Co-MVP, Goris. Taking it right side. The very same, and a touchdown! Golden's on the board already! Woo-wee! Golden's! Goris! Golden's! Goris! <laughs> Don Tits to return for the now down Starman. They trail 7-0 after a quick, sco uh, quick score by Goris. Ness on the QB keeper on first down, getting six yards, sizing up the defense, sizing them up, seeing what their, uh, what, where their center of gravity lies. And now they uncork for Bubble Monkey off of the play action. They're going to answer right back as no one is even on screen when he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Starman. Oh, folks, I think we got one of those. I think we do. I think we really do. <laughs> Classic cover zero. 69-69 <laughs> on the Starman. Any takers for the Goldens? Goldens definitely the favored team uh, going into this game. Make no mistakes about that. I don't care. What first place has or hasn't done in the Super Bowl before? I don't care what playoff momentum is worth. I'm talking about Garus, who's throwing Starman across the field and sprinting 30, 20. They're in pursuit, dodging away, breaking a tackle at the two and walking it in. Garus, Goldens. Oh, man. Garus about to have the game of his career, and it'll be just enough. Ooh, ooh. Golden Gobris. Don Tits to return. We'll see if the Starmen have a quick ace up their sleeve again. It only took them two plays to score on their previous drive. Ness feels settled. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> As he dumps it into a crowded flat and it's incomplete. Looking for Monkey, intercepted! Who's got it? It's Mac. That's Ninja Mac. With the INT. Dante's returns have been nuts this offseason. Dweller looking for Buggo, who it looked like was, if anything, slapping it away from a defender so it's not intercepted. Good defense by the offense there, I guess. Dweller just gonna, just gonna pitch it just, just shovel pass, Brett Favre style to Goris, who's gonna sprint away, break a tackle, and walk it in! Goris must be in excellent condition right now. Goris must be in excellent condition right now. That turnover uh, turned the tides in the Golden's favor as they are able to now jump up by two scores. We'll see what the Starmen can do. They have come back from down 14 against the Goldens before. It took overtime to do it. That was back in the Season 2 Super Bowl. Um, what a game that was. You can uh, look that up on the Greatest Games page. Exclamation point, Greatest Games. Incomplete pass on first down. That'll lead to second and 10. Ness dropping back, and they're not playing with the running game this time. They know their strength, they know what they're best at, and they know what they gotta do if they wanna get back in the ball game and stay in it, and that's throw, baby, throw. Maybe throw to the running back, which is kind of like running the ball, but it's different because you threw it. Looking for Monkey, got it. Dodging away, cutting to the left. Getting it down to the 26, first down Starman. They're matriculating. Ness, a few yards on that quarterback sneak. They like to, you know, fit that in where they can. Throw the defense off. He's going down! It's John Lovetron, baby! Oh, man. Jan, former rookie of the season, John Lovetron, back in his rookie season. He's, of course, now like a third-year man. But uh, he's great. 
Jan Levtron, although he's not there that time as they get the first down. I think if they get on the one-inch line, it's first and goal, but any closer and it's a touchdown. So they may as well just go for that. Second and six coming up. Heavy pressure on the blitz, and Ness is going down as Skynet wrestles him to the turf. Looking, surveying, got Monkey on the goal line, walks it across the corner and in. Touchdown, Starman, they'll close the gap. I'm biting my tongue before the extra point because I'm not jinxing shit. Polestar, who has been pretty bad uh, kicking field goals this, this postseason. Um, I think one of three this total postseason, so hopefully it doesn't come down to a game-winning field goal. Or hopefully it does, and she can redeem herself. That'd be cool. Boris, looking to prevent anything like that from happening, gaining seven through the middle, and that's a modest one for him. One of four. I was being uh, charitable, I guess. I thought it might be one of four, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to... I didn't want to get called out for being being mean if it was, uh, if it was too many. Dweller gets it to Man Bat. Got the first down. Hand off to Goris. Runs into quick traffic as they get on top of him for only a gain of two. Golden fans cheering in the stands. You can hear them nice and loud. Time to hit the golden showers. Play action. Rolling out his Dweller. Gonna throw for Dogmeat, who had to come back for it. But it's worth it as he turns it into a touchdown in the end. Goldens extend their lead once again. Golden staying in control of this one. Starmen need to catch a break. Yeah, just can't allow the double dip, and they're pretty much safe. They're playing incredibly uh, uh, great uh, game control, capitalizing on that earlier interception in a big way, and they're continuing to do so as they maintain their 14-point lead. Never dropping below 7. Always being at least 14. Or not always being at least 14, but, you know. Saturn. Can he outrun him? Oh, he can't. See, a score there for the Starmen would have been huge, as they will get the ball in the second half, and that would have been the opportunity to double dip with ease. But he is dragged down just short, and so they will still be down 28-14. They'll have some work to do in the second half. Don Tits to return again. We'll see what they can do from midway back in their own end zone. Only getting up to the 10. Their most reserved run back of the day, and it's still about 15 yards. Oh, Ness! Under heavy pressure, and Lovetron is the one credited with the sack. They were not fooled. Oh, it's the pitch to Mensa. Mensa! Gets the first down up past the 20, and that's how you get out of the danger zone, baby. That's how you do it Starman style. Gets the pass off with two defenders in his face, looking for Monkey, who's got the catch in traffic. And they pass midfield. There you go. That was Shades of Poo. Shades of Poo on the run. Monkey in traffic again. Can't reel it in this time. Ness, third and six coming up after a short-range scramble. From the shotgun, you got Monkey. Looking for Saturn. Oh, incomplete. They're going to punt. Wow. Polestar has made it from this far before. I mean, a field goal doesn't really help you that much, but... My goodness. I don't know. 
If the golden score here, it's gonna be really, really bad for the starving. Oh, they are on top of Man Bat in the backfield. Second and 16 coming up. Buggo. Oh, that's trailing out of bounds and complete. Third and 16. The Starmen need a stop. Can they get it? Oh, dodging one tackler. He gets up and pursues, but he's got the throw to dog meat. Oh, can't reel it in. And the Goldens will have to punt. That's right on top of them. Come on, dog meat, more like. Come on, Dweller. He's, it's right on top of him. He's just got to put his hands on it. Too much blame on the quarterback. Lovetron with another sack. The backbone of the Golden's defense. John Lovetron. <laughs> Mensa gets it out past the original line of scrimmage. Third and eight coming up. You got to sling it, baby. Oh, I think he heard me. Throw it. Looking for token. Oh, what a catch! What a catch! It's first and goal! Oh, my God! In triple coverage, JRR token sets up for the touchdown to Bubble Monkey. And the Starman, pending this extra point, will be within a score. If the wide receiver has to dive for it, maybe they're running their route too slow. I don't understand if it's like far in front of him, but it's right on top of him. Arguably, he didn't need to dive for it. He just did. Last play of the third quarter. Oh, looking for dog meat and double coverage. It's knocked away. <laughs> he breaks a tackle anyway. Ooh. Oh, Bubble Monkey's for real. Bubble Monkey was an offensive player of the season nominee for a reason. Man Bat stopped before he, uh, before he gets to the chains. Third and four coming up. Can the Starman get a stop? It's going to Goris. Right side. He's got the first down to the 32. 423 to go in the ball game. Starman looking for something. Oh, there it is! Starman Alpha! And he put a semi-decent return on it there. And they'll set up at the 33. Ness has Bubble Monkey wide open and decides to try and throw on the crossing route. That was a yikes on Dweller. <laughs> that one was a, uh, yeah. Got Token in the middle. He sees him. First down. Cross midfield. Fumble. Oh, no. Goldens have it. Oh, and if you're a Starman fan, that is got to hurt. Hey, what's up, Gray? Welcome to the championship, baby. Oh, they're on top of uh, dog meat on that reversal. Was that dog? No, that was that was Dweller. Who was that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dweller gets a good block, throws it wrong. That could have been intercepted. 220. If we go to overtime between these two again, if we go to overtime between these two again, there's still a lot of time. Let me let me not get ahead of myself. Dweller shit in the bed in the second half. Wozniak breaking tackles. Still going. Oh my god! Gets it all the way up to the 25. 25 and a half maybe. Oh blitz. And they gobble him. Second and 13, here they come. This is what happens when you stop just giving it to Goris. Saturn splitting the tacklers and getting it into Golden's territory. 105 on the clock. This is, uh, we're getting down to crunch time, folks. This is pretty much 
as, as tight as it gets. Ness taking off with it. Gets the first down. It's okay to go down, buddy. It's okay. 38 seconds to play. Whew. Whew. Oh, you got Saturn on the left. Gonna try for Monkey. Intercepted! K9! Oh my goodness! The Goldens are gonna win it! Goris carries it for the final play! And the Goldens win it! On a game-saving pick! And the Goldens are the champions for the first time since season one! Oh my goodness! There you have it, folks! Nani? <sighs> what a game! Oh my goodness! That's a championship, baby. I was wondering when we would have the game-saving interception in the end zone. And we have it here on the grandest stage! Put the pet me, uh, put the, put the, put the, put the, put the, put the pet in hand on the Golden's hat. They're the champs. Oh, man. Ness had a fantastic, uh, day yardage wise. Pretty bad interception wise. Dweller, 30%, 91 yards, and an interception. Bubble Monkey, six catches, 153 yards. Go off. Uh, but it was not enough. <laughs> Although, you can tell he was the go-to guy. They were even looking his way on that final throw that was intercepted. Um, was that, so, that, is that K-9 had a fumble recovery and uh, and, and uh, the, the, the winning interception? That's insane. That's insane. What a game. What a game. There you have it, folks. That's your champion, the Gecko Goldens. Let's hear it for him. Fucking lizards, baby. And that is another SGFL season in the books. I'm going to get my save state. Season 4, Super Bowl. There you have it. There you have it. Twenty eight, twenty one, and the Goldens have done it. They are your Super Bowl champions for the second time ever. They've gone to four straight, and they bookended it with victories, which means next season they're probably done. <laughs> Unless Goris has something to say about that. I think Goris is easily Super Bowl IX MVP, but K9 was really clutch in the fourth quarter there. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think to look at Goris' rushing yards. What were they? I already I already clicked away. I I feel dumb now. What were they? Throw some music on. And uh One seventy-one rushing, forty-seven receiving. He didn't have any receiving yards all season. Oh, that's also the first time that first place has won the Super Bowl. So that, you know, isn't a thing anymore. Yay! No more first place jinxes. Goldens break it as they should. They are the ones that technically started it. All unis undefeated this uh, season or postseason? Oh man! Oh, I have to set out the prediction. Y'all are probably waiting for that. I'm, I'm just, oh. Right, postseason. I figured that's what you meant. Congratulations, Golden's betters! Thank you to everyone who bet. Thank you to everyone for watching. 
Oh man, what a fantastic season! What a what a what a what a postseason! I'm really glad those last two games were 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 strong games, um, and I'm glad that the Contenders Cup was close because the Blunder Bowl and the and the Bronze Bowl were not. Um, so maybe not the best playoffs ever, but a fantastic cap to what was probably our best season overall ever. Um, and I oh. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, man, that's a lot of points. <laughs> um, I'm so excited for next season. Oh, man, every time the, the playoffs wraps up, I'm always like, oh, geez. Next season's going to be great. It's going to be great. Devils get the first pick in the draft. The draft pool has, uh, I think, about 170 names in it. 150 of those will go into the uh, into the into the draft board, and uh, 96 of them will join the league next season. So, of course, an exciting time is ahead of us. Next season, you can expect to uh, here. Let's switch over here. We're wrapping up. We're wrapping up, folks. Um, next season, you can expect to see, let me see, one, two, November, and I'm shooting for November 1st. November 1st launch date for season, uh, five, which means it'll wrap up December 27th. That is the target date. That is subject to change depending on etc. Um, you know, life happening and whatever, but, uh, that is the goal. That is, uh, and we will have the draft probably sometime in October. Um, if I had to guess. Sometime between now and November 1st, for certain. For certain. For, for darn shooting. So. Look forward to that. And, uh, thank you all so much for watching. A fantastic season. A fantastic playoffs. Fantastic league. And it would not be as good if it didn't have fantastic fans in the stands because that's what makes every sports league great is the you know the people that watch it and get invested otherwise it's just guys running around with balls <laughs> so thank you so much and of course a very special thanks to Cheb who without the SGFL just wouldn't be possible so thank you Cheb as well you uh bless me with your brilliant mind. <laughs> for real, for real. And uh, and genuinely make the SGFL what it is. Which is pretty fucking cool. I'm going to pick out a raid and we're going to get out of here before I start sobbing uncontrollably. At uh, at this glorious sight before us. Um, oh man. Oh man. Oh wow. <laughs> Let's go with, uh, let's go with Big Tall. Yes, claps for Cheb. God damn it. We're going to raid Big Tall, not small tonight. And, you know, claps for all, uh, for everybody. For your, Give yourself a round of applause. Because, again, it wouldn't be the same without you guys either. All righty. This raid is going to fire off. That was an incredible season, and it was so wonderful to have you along for it. It was, uh, so suit for. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You will be seeing the suit again next playoff season and not a moment sooner. Um, because you only do it big for the playoffs. Oh, man. What a night. What a what a what a couple of months it has been. One last time, thank you all again. Uh, I will be back Friday, and until then, see you, Stoop Gang.
Step four, coming in with the raid. Welcome, welcome. How's the stream? Welcome in, Stoop Gang. Yoga pants, grape soda. Hope you had a good stream. What were you up to? And for anyone new, big tall over here, and uh, I'm working on playing all.